Welcome back to City Skylines, the Snowfall DLC. Guys, my citizens today are feeling a little cold and today we're going to be taking a look at heating and adding in geothermal heating so we can heat up this city because our citizens are feeling a bit chilly. So guys, we need to help them. I love my citizens. Absolutely. I love them. Look at this city. It's absolutely beautiful and it's coming along slowly. But guys, there have been so many changes in this city. I've been trying to figure out a way to make the city look so good but guys I don't want to board you as well at home and for me I really want to start looking at uploading more to daily videos every single day uploading daily and what better to do that is to start training myself into making some epic content that flows really really quick so if I was to do daily content every single day in the week it would flow really nicely instead of 40 minute videos every single day because like for me I would prefer to have quality over quantity so I like my quality to be at a nice standard um, because they're having a higher quality it looks better compared to all the other content creators on the platform so I've been trying to improve my quality but now I want to in improve my quantity as well so having nice short episodes like do this do that do this do that that's what we're looking at doing but guys if you are new here and you like that type of content and you want to see daily content here on the channel actually leave a comment down below and let me know if you'd like to see that happen guys about 40% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel guys what are you what are the other 60% of you guys what are you guys doing make sure you guys don't go down below and click that red subscribe button down below but this is our city and guys yes we're up to the sixth episode now of city skylines right now let's take a look our frosty woodland production has gone up in flames and it's something we're going to talk about today but let's just take a look at our city now between the last episode and now big changes but let's just start with the first few things i know everyone's coming here to have a look at us heating the city but it is the sixth episode guys and i have not listen to any of your comments like I could have done this in episode 4 but I'd never read all any of the comments I didn't I put it into action so guys <laughs> I need to read some of your comments I've got some of your comments on my side screen here and I'm gonna display it all on screen very shortly but Nixon actually suggested um, calling our city name directors uh, director something to do with director but what I am gonna do is Nixon we've added some of your stuff in before and I'm gonna use another subscribers name and his name is Elvis underscore T-E-I and he said Airydale. So thank you to Elvis. We're going to be changing our city name finally to Airydale. So Airydale guys welcome back to Airydale. This is Airydale. We're in Airydale. It's a snowy map with a population of 23,000 people and Nixon actually suggested actually if we were to call our city director that we would call our center park director Central Park. But Nixon love you so much but we're actually going to use that same concept and we're gonna call this airy dale uh central ah, if i know how to spell central park so original so thank you to elvis and nixon but i've also made some few changes but before we look at this fire that's going on down here yes 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 i've got some parks that i need to do all right let's have a look uh elvis district elvis park uh let me have a look i'm just i'm trying to figure out okay let's over here where is this sunset district elvis underscore tei i am gonna be putting your name into our City. There we go. Uh, Elvis underscore T E I district. There we go. Your name is now in our city. And another subscriber also I'll put his um one of his comments up on screen now. He actually suggested for us to play some, if I can remember, ATS American Truck simulator and yes iceman 2056 thank you so much for your comment and it is something i think we should look at guys to all my subscribers and if you are new here as well comment down below would you like to see some air truck american truck simulator guys everyone that's subscribed and everyone that's new comment down below if you want to see some american truck simulator i'll see if i can make that happen for you guys but it's up to you guys to comment down below if you guys don't comment down below that you want to see some american truck simulator i will not bring it to the channel so guys make sure you comment down below but it also helps the youtube algorithm okay let's talk about what really happened i know you're here to watch heating up the city but it is very important for me to talk about what is 
happening in this beautiful city that we call Airedale now. Let's have a look now. We, I'm not, I can't remember, but we added this small section of, um, of property here now. So we've added in, so our highway, ex, ex, our highway, a highway comes right around and comes into here, which is the highway exit. Uh, it's one of these mods that I've downloaded from Steam Workshop. Just an exit here. And where the exits are right here, it actually goes into an avenue road that comes right around. And this is a new suburb here and a little area here. Um, so this one's all high density here. And this one's got a mix of high density on the outside and a bit of low um, density in the inside, which is pretty cool. So basically like all the noise filters on the top and then all, there's not much noise inside. Um, it's, as well as this side here, Elvis TIEI district has also just been expanded outwards a bit. Now I've got this happening over here and I will talk all about this very shortly. If we come back to our Monstrosidus interchange right here, if I can get a handle of my um, <laughs> scrolling thing, Majiggy, <laughs> you can see that going there. But this here is what is new. Now we had a massive industry area here. I think everyone here can remember we had a massive industry area here now. I did unlock two tiles as well in one of these episodes. It actually wasn't in an episode, it was actually outside of an episode. But I've added in some of these little junctions in everywhere here. Uh, but this here is like a square. As you can see, we've got a junction here, junction here. We've got a junction here, junction here, so they can get in and out between both junctions. They've got a junction over here, come around. So there's plenty of highway connection. That's all I can say is there's plenty of highway connection. But I was seeing... And, and you can see this right now as well with what's going on here. Um, this here is a future proof here. So I future proofed it in a way where we can start putting residential in here. I do want to make this a nice big residential area in here. I think that'd be pretty cool to see. I don't really want to do these circles anymore. I think because it doesn't give much coverage in terms of emergency response. They rely mainly on this main road here, which is not so good. Uh, so yeah, I want to go back to the original where we start using squares and all that because it's and interconnecting everywhere and all that jazz but yeah and we had a bit of a uh, nightmare of traffic nightmare uh, let's have a look at what our traffic is currently if I come down to here have a look at our traffic yeah 82% actually our wood production area is not doing too bad at the moment I've been doing trying to like just been outside of this episode just been trying to really nail down how to improve my traffic and how to get everything flowing very well that's something I've been just trying to figure out and down here we've got an interchange here I decided to get rid of all of our garbage and all that out of this area because we're just having a big influx of garbage trucks coming into one area. One area that's what we call a commercial zone. So like this is all industry and we had all of our garbage trucks also going into that industry as well. It's just jamming up everything. So we've got all our garbage and, and all around the recycling, snow and everything out here. Got a fire station down here and then we've also got all of our inland water for treatments and we've got all our oil power down here as well. We're slowly making some more money now as we were back up to 315,000. We did spend a lot of money building this and putting all this infrastructure in as well. But this is here. We're going to talk about the forestry industry in a second. But we've got this four-way here. I'm pretty sure this four-way we're going to maybe end in down here somewhere. Maybe like a little exit down here into maybe the rest of this area here maybe. Or we may come around and move into this section here. But this this highway here will come over to the, the other side over here, but this here is going to be a new suburb, really. I've actually laid out the main road here, we've got a main road that comes down here, and this here will be a brand new suburb, which will be one of you guys, so guys, comment down below if you want your name in this city. We've already got Nixon Park, Adam Heights, President Smith, Iceman Park, and Elvis Dist it's like that underscore TAI district. We've already got you guys the subscribers already in this city of Airedale of 23,000 population and 318,000 in the Treasury Reserve. But yeah, this is what this is going to be a new suburb down here. Let's take a look though at our timber industry. It has all burnt down and something today I do want to look at is of course yes, heating and I do want to look at maybe um Firewatch. Something to do with fires. Fire coverage, fire everything. Because what happens is 
This burns down because we've got all the forestry area, like we're like all mainly forestry. The fire trucks can't really get to it very. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't know how the game works. Okay, but you know, it, 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 yeah. Look, let's just take a look. We've got a highway interchange, a permanent highway interchange. We don't just have one interchange serves both industries. That's what we had before, and nah, didn't work out whatsoever. So one highway for one industry, one highway interchange for one industry. Yes, Aiden, I am talking right now, but I. Actually actually added in these warehouses. So originally finished here. I added in some more of these large plantation areas because we we're running a little bit low on um, raw materials as you can see what's going on here. Yeah, it's a bloody nightmare here but I actually think it looks really good. Compared to our first series of City Skylines of our timber industry, I think this one here is a little bit more efficient. We've got roads that go under. As you can see if I go under, well, let's pick a road. Let's go under. There we go. You can see we've got some one-way roads going on in here. One way roads, you can see I tried to follow the traffic. So the traffic comes in. Okay, well, you're going to go this way and you're going to come back this way. So there's no real, you know, uh, you guys know what I mean, all right? And it's the same happens here. It comes over around here. You can come around through here. Come Then you come back up over. So then you come back over here, basically. So as you come, so basically they leave this area. So then they can turn down here or go straight. So they, they turn around. Yeah, basically. Big one way system. One way system basically the same as over here and a massive one-way system coming into our warehousing area which is pretty damn cool alrighty this is all making money I'm really happy 14,000 in profit we're slowly doing our own production what I do want to do is though put all of these policies on improve logistics improve work safety super vision and improved automation which should hopefully make sure we do all of our own production and that is what I want. If we come down here I think we're not making much money at the moment. 4000 no but I've seen this income go up to nearly 50000 in income like just of forestry. Like guys that is absolutely mental. I probably am going to raise my budget though up to 110% for our industry because I, I don't want some more money and if we raise our industry pricing up, we should see this go up even further if we speed the game up. Of course, if we speed the game up. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to slowly go up. But let's take a look at what today's episode is all about. Today is all about heating, heating, and heating. All right, first of all, what do we need to do? Let's get a road. That's what we need first. We need to get a road so we can place it on now. Um, trying to work out the best possible way of doing it. I think I may just chuck it all over in the back here. That might be the best way. And honestly, we might just go like, if I maybe find a road like goes like this and like that. Maybe get rid of these two like so. And I may just try and add a very nice curve in here. It looks very shocking. This curve looks shocking, but that's not the point of this video, is it? It's not the point of this video. So guys, it's all okay. All right, let's have a look at what type of heating we've got. We've got, oh, okay, so we can heat everything. Wow, that's gonna cost us a lot of money. 125 per cell compared to 25 per cell. <laughs> We gotta love the snow. All right, so we got the boiler station, which produces a heating output of 120 megawatts, right? And it's $800 upkeep. Or we've got the geothermal, which which does 80, but 600 a week. What's the difference? What's pollution? All right, one has no pollution and one has pollution, but they both have the same noise pollution. All right, well, I think we're just gonna use the one that's got pollution, right? Makes sense, doesn't it? So let's put them in. I'm not sure how it's 75,000. Wow, that costs a lot of money. Okay, we can only put four in. So now let's come back down to here. Heating pipes, which are big, which are big, big boys. There we go. Alrighty, and this is our heating pipe. There we go. Alright, time to add in our normal water system. <laughs> Time to add the normal water system in there. So we should see water coming through into here. These guys should have water, good. And I'll connect water into here too. All right, how are we gonna run this pipe? Well, honestly, this pipe really needs to go into the city. Look, I'm not worried about the industry areas. It's mainly gotta go into the city. Now, the best way to get into the city would be through a highway. As you can see, $17,000 that would cost 
cost us. Let's speed our game up right now. Wow, 18,000 just for like 151 units is going to cost us 18,000 there. Look at this. Is this going to cost us like, wow. You know, you're looking at nearly 100,000 just off one bit of section. All right, let's get a 60,000. Let, yeah, let's get a 60,000 dollar loan. Let's go to water pipe. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get the game running. Let's go. Uh, we'll go to here. And we'll go up to there. There we go. All right, so water and heating should be covering all of that. There we go. And our main goal is for us just to go straight into the city. Just straight into the city. So all we got to do is heat it up. There we go. All right, it's going to cost us an arm and a leg. It's going to cost us an arm and a leg. Alright, let's have a look. We're going to just upgrade everything. I don't know, we might just do a quick time lapse. I don't know. Let's just do a quick time lapse of me doing all this. Oh no, I've got no money. Man, this shit is cost a lot of money. Let's just take out every possible loan we can. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, time lapse. Uh, there was like, just a quick time lapse of me just probably zooming in. I don't know what I've decided to do, but heating availability is high. There we go. Everyone is getting heated up. Uh, did I miss a few spots here? There we go. We've got you guys all heating up. And I've got no money, of course. Of course I've got no money. Of course, of course I've got no money. Alright, this, this stuff, I tell you. Wait, Nixon, if you're watching this, you are the one that suggested that you... Uh, I can't talk now, but Nixon was the one that suggested for us to play the snowy thing because Nixon also wanted to see us do some heating of the city. He hasn't really seen many YouTubers actually do this type of stuff, which is there you go, Nixon. It looks like I'm the next one to do this type of stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video so far, Nixon. And to everyone else, make sure you do click that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss some epic videos just like this one. Now, Nixon, and to everyone that's watching this, I'm that is it. I'm not heating this city up any further. Not doing it whatsoever. Let's come down to pot city policies. We do have recycling and of course in terms of city planning heavy traffic ban. I definitely would like to start looking at biking. Electric cars as well would be pretty cool. What I do would like to look at, if I, what I do would like to look at, buildings require less energy for heating thanks to extra insulation in their walls but produce less tax income because of the high construction and maintenance costs. No electricity for heat. Buildings have forbidden to use electricity for heating, they can only use heat produced by heating services. Make sure your heating services produce enough for the whole city. There we go. They are not allowed to use electricity anymore. Only electricity for heat. Uh, using heating, they can only use electricity for raises. Uh, that's it. That is it. They are forbidden to use heating. So, we need to have a look at our heating availability. Is it enough to get going? Alrighty. We are struggling. I see we are struggling. We need some oil down here, do we? Not enough fuel. It needs fuel down here. Is this going to be our first fuel truck? There we go. It needs fuel. There we go. We should start seeing. What are these guys complaining about? Water. Heating. Water availability. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. 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 That must use up a lot of water then. Okay. Looks like we're going to need to then look at. What are these guys complaining about? Not enough heat. Do, wait. Do these guys need heating as well? No. Surely not. These guys are only normal water though. Um. um what's going on here? Let's connect up. Surely these guys don't need, um, they just got pumping. They don't need heat. Not enough heat. Oh, 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 yes, yes. Let's go to here. Let's go to policies. We'll just go like that. And in terms of this district, is this a, a district in its own? Yeah, kind of is. Um, view industry policies. I don't, I want, I want these guys to stop complaining about heating. Not enough heat. Okay, wait a sec. Let's turn, let's come in here to policies. Let's turn that off, right? Then we'll go into the individual towns. No electricity. We'll go to here. No electricity. No electricity. Um, let's go there. Iceman Park, you need to be. Uh, let's go to city planning. Is it city planning? No, it's not. I want to go for profit education because, guys, I love that. All right. Um, in terms of city planning, we're going to do... Oh, that's got a high-rise band on it. That's why. Okay. Let's go to no electricity and to Adam 
heights as well. No electricity. There we go. All these guys should be all okay now. All right. Everyone looks like they're satisfied now with what is happening, which is good to see. Let's come down to electricity. What's going on here? Um, why are you guys complaining? You guys shouldn't be complaining. We'll connect you back up to the grid. There we go. So in terms of water, water availability is a good. What about heating availability? Heating consumption is 200. All right. Okay. So if I was to go to water, heating, there we go. All right. That's it. Let's go to heating. Let's go to heating. I can practically turn one of these off. It would come down to how much? 360. If I was to turn this one here off, 240. Mm, it's going to be a bit risky. Let's just keep maybe free running at the moment. All right. Building up our money now. As you can see, 4,000. We're spending a lot of money for our loans, which is not really good. So we're going to save up some uh, money. But I, what I do want to like to, what I do would like to look at is a look at the fire depot. Fire depot and the fire watch as well. Because our forestry area needs some fire watch in this area too. And I maybe need to get a fire watch. Can we fit one in here? Oh, this would look, this would be fit really nice just in here. And that would service that whole area. That's incredible. I could get it in just about there. And that would cover our central park too. All right. What I'm going to do, let's speed the game up. We're going to run the game for a little bit now. Make some money. I'm going to pay off some loans. And guys, when we have enough money to get started doing the fire and all that jazz, I will talk to you guys very shortly. Bit of trash. Bit of ah, 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 ah. Alrighty, making some money now. As you can see, 15,000 profit from our forestry industry, 13,000 from our forestry, 27,000 from there. Got enough money now to pay the last loan off. There we go. Taxes are up, budgets up. That is good to see. Now we've got about 122, making five grand every single week, month, whatever you want to call it. Let's come down to fire, fire, and fire. Let's have a look at where we want to put this fire thing. Now, what I do like to look at is somewhere nice and close. I want to cover the whole forestry area. That is it. Right in, right there. Maybe I might come in over here somewhere. That might be good. There we go. Gonna put that in. We're also gonna get the fire depot as well, which needs to be connected to a road of some kind. Now, I think I might put it over in this area over here. This just feels like it's the best possible area to have it. Right in here. There we go. All right, everything is working. Helicopters in use, 1,400 a week. Wow, that's gonna cost me a lot of money. But hopefully this fire watch tower does something visible distant distancey okay good and what I do need to do is I need to put in another watchtower and I need to put one in over here uh, let's have a look where we can put it maybe one in just here there we go all right in terms of everyone is nice and happy come back to our park as well because we need to put in back in put in back in our cafes that we used to have here they all burnt down for some reason don't know why don't ask I don't I don't know why they burnt down. It's just because our fire is couldn't get there on time. There we go. What are we making? 800. Uh, we, we haven't really broken even. But that is okay. These guys are making money. These guys are making money. Look at Frosty Woodland production. Well, it's not Frosty Woodlands anymore, is it? So let's change the name here to Airy... Uh, <laughs> Airy Dale. Airy Dale Wood. Airy Dale Woodlands. There we go. That is the name of our city. Good. As you can see, the snow is coming in. Our boilers are operating like normal, which is good to see. Not enough money to move it. Wow. Um, in terms of everything, I think everything is going all right. I might just extend the road here. We're going to go to nice trees. Or we'll extend the road maybe, let's go normal. We'll extend the road maybe up to here. Maybe go 20 there, go 20 there. We'll get some normal roads that look beautiful. And I think, what did I use there? I used that. Okay, let's have a look what we can do here. We'll put you like that and we'll put you like this. This is gonna be a very simple district right here. I do not plan to do anything special here because we do plan to actually rip all of this up eventually. We plan to rip it all up because guys, we're gonna be planning out and putting in a nice dense residential area in here with everything. It's gonna have everything you could possibly want in this area, which is gonna be super cool for this city. This city wants a bit of everything. They do 
would like to have some like bus services and all that jazz this is what our citizens want guys and we got to be able to be a provider in that category all right put some more in here there we go these are all um what do we call them offices there we go put some of them in because i do not want industry i realistically want to get rid of this industry and like throw them over here on a side island just chuck them in on an island somewhere out of this city just basically get them off this big floating rock here <laughs> get them off of this rock that is it get rid of them right away let's have a look at how our bus services are actually doing i just want to see how much money we're making Twenty four thousand, twenty five for grand good looks like we're having a bit of profit margins now 1300 people in terms of residents that is Wow, that's amazing. All right, let's have a look at our public transport lines. Wow, this one here, the green line, still got like 500 on online. Wow, so it saved us 64%. So I've actually put in this one here. This is the Nixon Park one here. This one here actually goes to the forestry area, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it goes to our forestry area. So this line currently, it has a lot of people on it. Like, seriously, 92, 19, 190 is on one bus. We've got 190 passengers only on one bus, right? But it's saving us 48% of our traffic. That is awesome. What about this one here? 51%. What about this one here? Not many people. 50%, that's not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. There was one here with 200. Do we have a look at this one? 51%. So it looks like all of our buses are doing pretty well. In terms of our public transport, it's doing well. About 50% of traffic it is a saving on our roads, which is good. And that is why we have an average of 84%. In terms of our city, really like thumbs up. I would have to really admit. Guys, can we get about five likes on this video? Let's like this video up, guys. Five likes on that video, on this video. It would be greatly appreciated and it shows me that you guys are enjoying this series so far. May not be getting so many views. I'm not sure. I really just want to finish this series off. Um, you know, it's something different. We have we haven't seen someone do a snowfall DLC. I think most people like the normal maps, to be honest. I don't know. But it's something that you guys will, can enjoy. This video will take off probably eventually. Not getting many views, but hey, I just want to play some more City Skylines, enjoy it. I've used you guys, you, like you guys are ones that suggest suggested the snowfall so I wanted to play the snowfall anyway for you guys it's not about bringing new people in it's making the current subscribers happy and making sure that they're enjoying the content that they see here on the channel because at the end of the day you know it's not about the content it's about who you're watching at the end of the day it's me you're watching me guys and you, you watch me because of me hey 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 all right today what have we done we put in the boilers which is super cool and we've also put in all of this over here here all about heating heating and heating and fire watch towers which hopefully fingers crossed guys it's going to do some good but man guys one takeaway i can give you guys from this video is that heating costs a lot of money and wow i cannot believe it between episodes i'm not sure if i'm gonna do much upgrades between episodes but in the next episode we're gonna be unlocking this tile right here i'm not sure is that one tile i may need to unlock two tiles right here because this island here we're gonna upgrade the highway connection here we're gonna make sure the highway connections comes on the outskirts of this island and we may um expand the island a little bit make it do a bit of a, a bit more artificial island but <laughs> i don't know um but what we're gonna do here we may even create an artificial island in just here maybe but what we're gonna be doing guys is creating a university island yes our lovely people of this city need a university we've got nearly 10,000 illegible that means that's 10,000 possible people that can pay for their own education and that means I can make so much more money and if we had the right transport getting into that island guys look at that we've also got a train line so we put a train put a train station in there we have outer city people come in we get a metro or like a monorail we might use monorails this time and get a monorail from here come down into the city right we'll have a monorail come down into this city here you know people come from the city out to there we can then also maybe turn this area here into a city i th i honestly think though i think we're gonna finish this part of the city up first then we're gonna build this city up here and while we're building this city up maybe chuck the industry somewhere else i don't know what we're gonna do but we're gonna do something cool to make sure the industry flows very well and has a proper proper highway connection but guys that's all coming up in the next episode which is on tuesday at 12 a.m 
Australian Day Stand Time, the golden time here on YouTube. But guys, thank you so much for watching. It is much appreciated. And guys, I can tell you right now, one big takeaway is heating the city does cost a lot of money. And if you want to heat, heat the whole city of Airedale, you're going to need millions of dollars in the piggy bank. Guys, if you want to enjoy today's video, smash a like on the video. If you want to see more videos just like this one or any videos just like this, make sure you click the subscribe button right here. Click up here to watch the last video and click down at the bottom here to watch the full playlist of City Skylines, the Snowfall DSC of Airedale. Guys, I'll catch you all in Tuesday's episode at 12am Australian East 10 time. Guys, with that said, have a great rest of the day and I'll catch you then.